guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily Jean if you haven't been here before. Today I'm back with another clothing haul, finally getting into the official fall clothing hauls. I wanted to get this specific one out a little bit earlier to kind of call it a back to school haul, which I probably still am going to call that because everything in this video I think is perfect for high school girls, even middle school, and going into college. Just really easy outfits, cute clothes that are mostly dress code approved. I think this is just like the perfect selection to kind of spice up your wardrobe for the new season. And that is all thanks to Princess Polly. This video is partnered with Princess Polly, so I want to say thank you to them for working with me again. I have worked with them in the past. They're amazing. You guys probably already know this. I've been shopping at Princess Polly since high school, and I am rarely disappointed with the pieces I choose from there. If you guys do want to save some money on Princess Polly, I do have a code for you guys, which is PP times Emily, all caps. I'll put it on the screen here, and then I'll also leave all those details down below for you guys to check that out at the end of this video. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, you should hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. You can also follow me on Instagram at Emily Jean Beauty. You can follow my merch page, EJB Merch, and you can also follow my closet page, EJB Closet, where I sell a bunch of old clothes. With all those announcements aside, if you guys want to know what I got from Princess Polly for the new season, then just keep watching. So first off, we're gonna start with my most favorite and fabulous top. It's what I'm wearing. It is so cute, very me. You guys know I love anything pink. Very Barbie, I just love it, especially with my blonde hair, which may be changing soon. But I love this pink sweater, it is so cute. This is definitely one of the pieces that probably isn't school appropriate, but for all my college girls or some high school girls, if you guys go out on the weekends, hang out with friends, more like date night type outfits, I think this is the perfect top for kind of transitioning into fall. Just a long sleeve balloon style knit sweater. It's actually really warm, like I'm sweating right now. And then it just has the tie in the front. So I'm wearing it right now with no bra. I kind of like that really chill, relaxed look. With high-waisted jeans, I think this is a really cute date night, going out, party little sweater for when it's cold out. I really like how open it is on the top and it's just super comfortable. I think the color is fabulous and this is definitely my favorite top in this haul. I just think it's really unique and literally fits perfect. The next couple tops that are kind of more layering pieces. I picked up two cute pretty plain tanks. So the first one here is just this nude little crop tank with like the lacing around the side. I love these just really simple basic tops. This is something I could wear under this if I wanted a little more coverage. You can wear it under like a long cardigan. You can wear it under any sweaters, under a jean jacket. Um, again, this probably isn't school appropriate, but I promise most of this haul will be. But I just really love the color of this. The fit's really nice. I just can never go wrong with like cropped tanks basics and I thought this one was really pretty with that like feminine lace around it. The next little crop tank, I've actually worn this already and I got a stain on it so excuse that and deodorant stains on it, wow. Um, this is this dark green little crop tank. I have so many of these from Princess Polly. I think they're known for these little crop tanks with these super thin straps. I have a black one which I showed in my last Princess Polly haul and they're just great easy basics again for layering. I chose the green one because my boyfriend goes to MSU and I have no green in my closet, so I needed something to wear to like tailgates and games and stuff. Um, so this is what I wore to one of the recent ones, and it's just so cute with jeans. Again, no matter what time of the year it is, I feel like every time I buy some new clothes, I'm always adding in those like basic crops and tanks just to kind of feed through my wardrobe. I'm always wearing them. I have a problem of talking too much, so if you're new to my channel, I apologize. Moving on, from here on out, I have a ton of sweaters that are gonna be super cute with jeans just any type of jean, which I try all these on for you, obviously, in the try-in portion, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So here is this really pretty striped sweater. It's almost that more like fuzzy, I don't know if it's called an eyelid, like eyelash material. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's like that little bit more fuzzy material. It's really stretchy and soft. It has the black cream and kind of camel color stripes. 
The wrists and the bottom of it kind of cinch up, which I think looks really cute with jeans because it cinches by your waist, cinches at your wrist. You guys will be able to tell in the try-on portion. But this is just one of those sweaters. It looks very fall, looks very bloggery, just so cute. Throw it on with a pair of jeans, throw some black booties on, and you are good to go for the fall time. So along with that theme, the next sweater I've actually already worn. I wore it in a picture on Instagram, and a bunch of you guys were asking where it's from. It is this cream knit white sweater you can never go wrong with a creamy white sweater during the fall time it's probably one of my favorite sweater colors to wear this one's a really nice thick knit all of these sweaters feel very high quality I love the neckline on this because you guys can tell it's just like a straight neckline to where it covers it doesn't go off your shoulders at all but it just is like a cool more modern take on a neckline and then the sleeves are definitely a little bit wider with the cinch at the wrist um, and then the bottom again is just kind of like a straight cut Next one, again, another easy sweater. This is probably one of my favorite sweaters from the bunch, and I'm going to show you a bottom that it matches perfectly with two in a second. But it is this, like, I would say it's like a blush, beigey colored sweater. It's a long, it's a pretty deep v-neck to where I like to wear it off the shoulder. You don't have to, but I think it looks cute if you added some, like, gold layered necklaces. This is a pretty basic cut sweater, just normal sleeves and normal body cuts. And then if you look closely, it has all these really pretty specks of color in there. I think it looks a little bit more vintage, kind of hipster vibes. I like the little colors in there. And again, just love the cut of this. It's a little bit different with showing a little bit more of the chest and the neck up top. And all of these sweaters have the perfect crop where they're not super long, but they're not cropped to show stomach. They're the perfect length to just kind of tuck the front of the sweaters into your jeans. I always wear high-waisted jeans in the try portion. You guys can see that I kind of just tuck the front portion of my sweaters into my jeans. And I think it looks perfect. Moving on, another sweater. <laughs> Here is a really pretty green color. I love this color for the fall time. This one is again similar, but just a little bit different cut. So this one has like a mock turtleneck. Love that for the fall. And the sleeves are a little bit more wide and long. I actually folded the sleeve up in the trying portion like this to kind of cuffed it because they were so long and I really like the detail of it being folded. Pretty boxy cut and I just think it's really cool, cozy, and this color is beautiful. I love these more like muted jewel tones for the fall time because you're adding some color but it's nothing too crazy and I just, I really, really love this. All these sweaters are honestly so amazing and I would never recommend something to you guys if I didn't absolutely love it and these are just like blew my mind when I tried all these on for the first time. I'm so excited to wear them. It's still kind of hot in Michigan, but I've been just like waiting to wear these pieces and I cannot wait. So if you want to see them styled, follow my Instagram and these will probably start popping up more frequently as the month goes on. So next, I wanted to grab another basic, but a basic that I will be able to wear a little bit more than the tanks because I realized I don't have a lot of tight basic long sleeves. So this is just this white knit long sleeve crop top with buttons down the front. Um, this can be a little bit more revealing obviously depending on how far you open the button. So you can wear this out with jeans and heels or you can wear it to school if you wore like a flannel tied around your waist to cover your stomach a little bit more, high waisted jeans with a skirt. I think this is very versatile. It's a nice basic to have to layer under things um, and I feel like you can just get a lot of use out of this. I had nothing really like this and I really like the fit nice form fitting comfortable soft and i'm happy with this one before we go on to bottoms i do have one kind of jacket and i actually thought this was going to be a little bit more lightweight in like a fall jacket but now in person i've tried it on a few times this is definitely more of like a winter jacket i think it looks like this super cute it's this gingham print kind of puffer jacket and then the inside of the hood has this like is this like sheep not real sheep, but like it. But the inside is just this black, and then the hood, it looks like this, and then the gingham style, like I said. So in the trim portion, you'll be able to see like how puffy and big this is. It's very oversized, and I feel like this would look best with just like black leggings and more of a casual look when it's kind of cold, running errands, you know, actually going out and doing things. It's a really puffy, nice jacket. Of course, I'll wear this in the fall too, but it is like a pretty heavy duty coat. So if you guys do live somewhere cooler and want a cute kind of... So yeah, if you guys do live in kind of like cooler areas, I feel like that's a great 
fall the winter jacket that's still cute and trendy but is actually warm. So the first bottom I have is this really pretty satin cheetah print skirt. You guys have probably seen these everywhere. They were huge all summer. They were huge all last fall and I think they're going to be back for this fall just because they're so versatile and easy and I feel like everyone looks good in a skirt like this. It's the perfect midi length skirt satin kind of feel and it kind of flares out at the bottom a little bit. These skirts look great with graphic tees tucked in, more dressed up with a bodysuit. You could wear just like a normal like plain t-shirt, collared shirt, you could wear with sneakers, you could wear with heels, you could wear with sandals. Like there's so much you can do with this skirt and I actually didn't have one that I loved the fit of and I like the more satin material because I think it looks a little bit more elevated. This fits my waist perfectly, has a zipper on the side. The next bottoms I got are these new pair of boyfriend baggy jeans. I don't have like a dark pair of boyfriend jeans and I thought these were so freaking cute. Very baggy all the way down straight leg. I actually rolled the bottoms because these were kind of long on me. I am only five foot. I cuffed the bottoms which I don't think you could see in the try and portion but I thought they looked really cute just like this or I could totally cut them and have like a raw hem to them. I do that with a lot of my jeans and then they also have this really cute like butt cut. It doesn't show your butt, it's a little bit lower, but I just like how there's a huge hole on the back of the pants because it's just so plain in the front and then I feel like this just adds like a really cool look to them. The next pair is, these are these really cool Bermuda shorts. I think that's what you would call them or like long boy shorts. They're the same kind of color, like dark gray or like faded black wash denim and they're basically just like long denim shorts and I love these because I feel like I'm at the age where I can never find the right denim shorts between like looking like I'm still in middle school high school and also looking still cute and especially for the fall like pairing these shorts with a sweater and sneakers is just so cool I don't know I really really am into it they're comfortable they fit my waist and butt perfectly but still kind of have that baggy look to them and they just make me feel comfortable because I'm all covered but I'm still wearing shorts I feel stylish I think I've said this about several items in this haul but this is another one of my favorites and these are the bottoms I was talking about to match that like polka dotted light beige sweater. They don't actually go together, but when I got them together, I was like, wow, those match perfectly to where I could pair it. So this is this knit long midi skirt, and I don't think you guys can tell how beautiful this really is, like through the camera. This is the most flattering midi skirt. It hugs you in on the waist really nicely, high waisted. It's a little bit more fitted up here, but then just goes straight down, has slits on the side. It's just a nice, heavy duty knit skirt and I think it's beautiful. Like this is a staple that I'm gonna have in my closet for so long. So moving away from clothes, I also got three new bags. The first one I'm gonna start off with, I'm actually currently using as my work bag. So I wanted a new work bag for fall and like there's literally all my stuff in here. By the way, if you guys wanna see a like what's in my bag video, let me know because I'd love to film that because I feel like I have a pretty good handle on what I keep in my work bag. This is a bag that never leaves my side, even if I'm not working, even if I don't need my laptop for the weekend. Doesn't matter where I'm going, this bag is with me in my car 24 seven. I picked up this one. It's this like shiny crocodile prints or like textured bag with these thin black straps. And it's pretty much just a big open bag with a little like magnetic and then a tiny little pocket on the inside. So I keep a ton of stuff in here. Like I said, this is just the bag that I take everywhere with me and I'm really happy with it. I've been using it for about a week now. The next bag that I got that is my new everyday bag, this black crossbody bag has a gold chain like this. It also came with a black leather chain if I wanted to do that, but I really like the gold chain. And the coolest thing about this, I know it just looks like a plain basic black crossbody, which I needed, actually has three compartments. So at the top it has three different zippers. It's pretty much like three purses put together if you guys can tell and this is great for me because I'm the person that's always carrying my phone, my huge key ring, like five different lip options, tickets, paperwork, whatever, cash, my credit cards, um, just all different things in here and I'm always carrying like friends stuff or whatever. I just like having a decent sized bag and this just kind of looks 
simple, but it really has like a little bit more to it. I love the black and gold, and it's just the perfect everyday bag. So I've been using this as my purse. I always have a small purse on me and I always have my work bag on me. So the last bag I got, this one's a little bit more fun. This is more of like my weekend bag, which is something a little bit different. And it kind of has that same like shiny crocodile front texture with this cool rounded shape, magnetically opens. And then on the inside, it has just like a nice big pocket in there. And then it, this also comes with two chains. So I could add the crossbody gold chain onto if I want to wear it across. I actually oops, haven't used this one yet. So I'm going to figure out how I want to wear it. But of course, the main thing that stuck out to me is this really cool shoulder chain with all these fun jewel tones. I think this is such like a standout fall piece. And this is probably how I'd wear it. This is more of like, like I said, a weekend bag where I would just need foam cash and a lip gloss in here. It's not huge, it's the perfect size. I like the black with the pop of color. So I think that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below if you're gonna pick anything up from Princess Polly. I wanna thank them again for partnering with me on this video. I'm just so happy to be working with them over and over again. They have hands down some of the cutest clothes online and I hope you guys found something you liked in here. I think there's a lot of great easy pieces to add into your wardrobe and like always I'll have all the detailed information down below linking each piece, um, letting you know what sizes I purchased them in as well as leaving my personal measurements and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to use my code if you want to save some money at checkout which I will put down below as well and I love you guys so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!